RUN DOWN! Welcome to Vikings Rundown. I'm Ryan Baxter. I'm Zach Nash. And today is Zach's birthday. Happy birthday, Zach. Thank you, Baxter. We're going to start with football. Another victorious week for the Vikings. A score of 36-6 to over the Hicksville Comets. Zach, you were at the game. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, poor Washington dominated that whole game, Baxter. Christian Sarkeesian, another huge performance. Another first play, first touchdown from Harry Einan. So they face Farmerdale this week in a huge game, Baxter. What does Port need to do to win that game? It all comes down to them defensively. J.J. Collins is an absolute threat, so is Jacob Finkel. But Port's defense has been dominant. They've outscored their opponents 82-6 to in the last two games. So as long as they can hold that wall on the defensive line and keep their secondary back from that big receiver in Collins, I think they'll be okay. We caught up with Harry Ian, the starting quarterback, after his 2-0 start to his career. All right, I'm here with Harry Ian from the football team. And Harry, how do you feel about uh, winning 36-6 against Hicksville? Feels great. I mean, we ex executed on what we needed to and came out with a good result. And uh, is there any difference in preparation for you guys this week going against Farmingdale, a tough opponent? No, not really. I mean, we're still taking it uh, day by day. You know, at the end of the day, it's still like any other game, and we're going to go hard at practice like we always do. Yep. Zach, you were also on the play-by-play. -play. Let's take a look at some of the calls of the week. And it takes a snap, he's back to throw, he's looking over the middle of the field, and he's got a man into the end zone for a Vikings touchdown, is the gift to Sarkeesian, Sarkeesian runs right up the middle, and into the end zone for another Vikings touchdown. Jake, those weren't the real calls of the week. You were at the boys' volleyball game, and something we've never seen happen before. Let's take a look. Griffin Marvin going to take the serve for Port Washington. Oh, and the ceiling comes down! Liverpool breaks the Port Washington ceiling and it comes crashing down. Luckily, it did not hurt anyone. But that's going to come out of somebody's paycheck. Looking for Gritz on the other side. She's going to tap it over. Bumped by LaRusso. Set by Veal. Over by Lucas. There's a spike. Really good spike there by Bella Lucas. Set by Veal. Over. Good block there by number 14. It's going to be Spike Vile flying in, and Port's going to win this second set. Bump by Marvin. Over by O'Flanagan. Bump by Schwartz. Set by Veal. Looking for O'Flanagan on the side. Spike down! Oh, Port Washington point. Here at Port Vikings, we've created a new segment called Average Joes and Chose. Let's take a look. I'm Jonathan Gold, and I'm here with varsity goalkeeper Owen Jarrell and Fort Vikings associate Ryan Cho. Today we're going to be taking five penalties each just to see if an average Joe can score on a varsity goalie. Oh. I think I'm going to go bottom right. I don't know where this ball is going, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm here with Adley before the kick. We're going to get some commentary. How do you think he's going to get it? I think he's going to get it. I don't think he's In the coming days, we're releasing a bunch of sports features on all of our teams. Let's take a look at the first. The boys varsity volleyball team season is in full swing, and Alex Milner has been one of the team's bright spots. Alex has played for Schreiber volleyball teams for three years and has played varsity for two years, and he's performed well and hopes to lead his team to the playoffs again. In Port's game on Monday against Great Neck North, Milner had 17 kills and 9 digs to lead his team to victory. Jake Wilbur caught up with Milner in the studio. I'm here with varsity volleyball player Alex Milner. Alex, you had a great season so far. What do you equate your success to? Um, you know, our team really works hard at practice every day. Um, we're always trying to work on things we don't do well in games and fix them before we play again. And do you, what do you want to do to continue your success in playoffs? Uh, we need to work on the little things like blocking and covering on defense, but uh, otherwise we play good defense, we get the ball up a lot, and we uh, stay and we fight. Thank you. 
I'm here with boys varsity volleyball players Russell Schwartz and Jake Vaponte. Russell, I'll start with you. What has Alex Milner contributed to your team's success? Uh, I think he really lifts up the team and brings the energy, and uh, he's been really consistent with his hitting. Like he knows how to put the ball away, and just is a good part of our team. And Jacob, same question. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, he's definitely consistent. Whenever the ball goes to him, we know we can trust him with passing, hitting. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys and have a great season. That's all from us at Vikings HQ. We'll see you next time on Vikings Rundown.